In 1992, the notion of terra nullius was rejected by the High Court of Australia in the Mabo decision. And the following year, the federal government passed the Native Title Act. However, the process was stacked against the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples, who had to provide evidence and proof of their connection to country in court cases that were often aggressive and based on Wadjala rules. Despite these odds, 78 different individual family claims throughout the southwest of WA were lodged with the National Native Title Tribunal in 1997. Managing all of these claims was nearly impossible due to funding and resourcing challenges. It was seen as unfair that only some of these claims would succeed, while many others would fail simply due to lack of legal resources. Eventually, most of these claims were withdrawn and replaced by six composite claims. During this time, informal support for a single Noongar claim began to spread. Meetings in support of the SNC began throughout the southwest under the Noongar Land Council. In 2002, the Noongar Land Council was replaced by SWALSK as the native title representative body representing all Noongar people. In 2003, the SNC was lodged with the federal court over the same area as the six composite claims, which also remained in place. The WA government refused to negotiate with Swalsk and took the Noongar claims to the federal court. The government denied the existence of a single Noongar people with a continued connection to the southwest. In 2006, Justice Wilcox found that native title could potentially exist in and around Perth. This was the first time such a finding was applied to an Australian capital city. Justice Wilcox found that the Noongar people had successfully demonstrated that a system of Noongar law, customs and culture existed at sovereignty and continues to exist to this day, an essential requirement to obtain a native title determination. However, in 2008, the full federal court decided there were some technical concerns with the Wilcox finding. So both parties, Swalsk and the Western Australian government, agreed to negotiate constructively rather than continue with litigation. This led to a settlement that would properly recognise Noongar connection to the land and their right to the benefits that flow. The state of WA formally recognised the Noongar people's continued connection to the land in an act of parliament, acknowledging that, since time memorial, the Noongar people have inhabited lands in the southwest of the state. These lands, the Noongar people call Noongar Buja, Noongar lands. Noongar Buja, Noongar lands. The Noongar people are the traditional owners of Noongar Buja and hold cultural responsibilities and rights in relation to Noongar Buja. The Noongar people have continued to have a living relationship with Noongar Buja that is linked to culture, spirit, family and community. The Noongar people have made, are making and will continue to make a significant and unique contribution to the heritage cultural identity, community, and prosperity of our state and Noongar Buja. Nana Kurt Mort, Nijibarangin, Noongar Buja. Nona Kamort Kwamba Jinang Nichi Mangart Kura Nona Kamort Yiri Yagin Kwamba Nyonga Boja Kura Nija Burdawan Nona Kamort Mort Yagin Nyonga Boja Yiri and Kura Bamin Nona Kamort Weirn Bert Dombrin Nona Kamort Mort Kort Boja Nijangala Mort Kalbuja. 
kalbuja.